right, I think we ready to come on out. This whole, yeah, there we go. Get all these wires out the way. Yeah, this whole thing's going to get cleaned up, gang. But yeah, see that little piece right there. I stood it up, not paying attention. I pushed it up in there, so... Back on my usual get down, gang wrenching. Why you sleeping? Fresh off work, gang. It's about eh, close to 2 a.m. And we back up in the Rock Shop, gang, for another edition of Rock Shop Chronicles. And in this edition, you know what it is. It's officially backyard Betty season. We trying to get this old girl out the garage. We're not trying to get her in traffic just yet, but we're getting her out the garage uh, as we still have a lot of work to do before we can get her in traffic traffic. But Right now, we have the back wheels are spinning. Dry shaft's been cut, measured, cut, stabbed in. We got that going. We got the uh, steering linkage uh, for the transmission. We got that going. I still need to add the gear selector in. Little stuff like that, but that's not going to stop us. Not having that in won't stop us from uh, getting it out. Everything still needs to be tuned properly. Uh, I've done all the major heavy lifting and hard work. But we going to, even though I'm team fuck a shop, I'm going to have to find a good, reputable place that can go through everything. You know, like they might be like, oh, the, the distributor needs to be, you know, blah, blah, blah. We're going to have them go through, tune the carburetor, fix everything. You feel me? Right now it's running extremely rich. I know rich, that's how it is with carburetors, but this is like wild rich. It's like crazy. So uh, we don't want to hurt the motor. But yeah, just little stuff like that. We can get all that taken care of later. The goal is to get her out. And right now, we're on the last part that we need to do to get her out. Brakes have been bled. Rear end is doing what it needs to do. Brakes are doing what they need to do. Now we are on the steering component. And we are working on getting this steering set up uh, going. Now, before I put this steering column in, I had that steering column in. This is the original one but it needed some serious work and certain things on it didn't work like high beams, my turn signals, none of that stuff worked cause it's all bad. This one, everything worked. So I went ahead and stabbed that one in. And at the time I put in that Blackheart, Hooker Blackheart uh, steering shaft, linked it up and I was able to, you know, turn and all that stuff, no problem. So once we got to a point where I needed to hook up the uh, transmission linkage and get all that going properly, I couldn't use that one as I needed the uh, column shift steering column in. So we stabbed that one up in there. <laughs> Man, it's never easy for me, gang. Uh, and at the time, I didn't realize that this was pushed all the way up inside. So normally, they just slide in and out. Nah, not this one. It, it got stuck and lodged in there, and I could not pull it out. So I had to take it all the way out. I used some of this Croyle because it creeps down inside all the little, the smallest, the smallest of spots. It lubed it up, and I was able to get it out. I had to get it in my vise and get it out. So after I did that, went ahead and stabbed it back in, hooked everything back up, and right when I went to hook up the uh, steering shaft, it would not fit. These G-bodies are G-bodies, but they're not all the same gauge. The tolerances are going to be different. So just to get you up to speed where we are i have it out right now as you can tell and we are fouling away at it so i've got my file i've got a little oil on my file and what we're doing gang is we are slowly just knocking this down some you feel me just slowly just knocking it down some like this until you know and then we're test fitting now i have three of these jeep shafts from uh these are the Hooker Blackheart series, and that is the part number. Of course, I picked this all up from my Club Prez, 80s Performance. And uh, here's the part number, gang. And I'll have a link to that uh, in the uh, description as well. And, you know, I have a few other ones. So I'm going to finish uh, knocking that down, sanding it, and then I'll use this one to mock it up, you know, to make sure it works. 
instead of putting the steering column all the way in, trying to slide the other one up, I'll just base it off of this one. These are made, you know, the tolerances on these are pretty tight. So I took my caliper and I measured the inside diameter of both of them and we're right on. So once this one slips on, the other one should slip on with no problem. And if you don't know, you guys don't know what a caliper is. Oh shit, where'd I put it? Don't know what a caliper is. That is this right here. You can pick these up, man. You feel me? They'll tell you exactly what the inner and outer diameter of them, you know, whatever the part is that you're looking for. Uh, trying to measure. You want to know the inside diameter of that hole? You know, you just stick this down in there. Let me see if I can close it. Like that. Open it up. Boom. That's the inner diameter. You want to know the outer diameter of it? Open it up. Get inside the jaws there. Oops, my bad, gang. Boom. There it is. So I measured that first. They both came in at the same at the same size, but it could have been something up in here. You feel me? Could have been something up in here. A couple of burrs in there was keeping it from slipping on. So uh, I just decided to take my file and clean it all up and get that cracking. So that's what we going to get after, gang. Uh, you know, we got some oil on here. And all I'm doing is just slowly, slowly filing it. Now, this steering column is going to get all the way rebuilt later on. But for right now, as we just try to get it out the out the garage, this is, you know, we just need this to be able to steer and turn. So roll with your homie, and we're going to get this cracking and uh, finish this up. All right, y'all. All right, gang, we back in. Let's see what we can do here with this. There we go. Oh yeah, that'll work. That's going on nice and smooth. I'll lube that up. Now, once I'm done, uh, when we're finally done painting it and all that stuff, what we're gonna end up doing, gang, when you have something like this, man, of course, this one's gonna go all the way through, I believe, and then it's got a locking nut on there. This one here, uh, that one right there, what I'm going to do is back that one out, take my paint pen, and mark where that's going to go on the shaft. And then right here in this area, I'm going to, where that mark is, I'm going to drill it, put a little dot right there. You feel me? And what that's going to do is that's going to let this Allen head index in that point. Just a little bitty groove in there so it can sit down inside there. Then you put the locking nut on top of it. And you are good to go. But yeah, gang. So it looks like that's going to work. This is sliding on nice. And uh, so now I'm going to drop it back in and uh, hook everything up and see what it do. All right, y'all, fading it out. All right, gang, and there we have it. Man, that's just real clean. It just disappears. Of course, that back there, that'll be uh, painted black. Once we get everything in place, it'll just flow and, you know, fill right on in. Now, later on today, I'm going to fire it up. And we're going to pull it out. I think I'm going to go back. I think it was Brother Ravi Grind School who had a video on how to tighten up the steering column. I'll, I'll go looking through his uh, video catalog and see if that's there. He also had a video, I'm sure of it, about getting the steering gearbox tight. So make sure I had enough fluid in the uh, gearbox. And later on today, gang, we are going to pull her out. You know what? Let's go ahead and see. We got everything tightened back up. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. Shit. Of course, the car ain't on, so it's hard to do its thing, and them tires is hella low. But we, uh, we live. Let's see if I can, uh, let's see what it's doing in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, gang. We good. We good. We good. We good. So, uh, later on, I'll check to make sure there's no power steering fluid leaks. And, uh, all right, gang. It's raining. So, well, we're going to pull it out a little bit, steer it, and I might even be able to get it up closer. You feel me? So, but there it is, gang. We got it on. And I'll bring you guys back in in the morning. Something else I'm going to be doing is 
checking for vacuum leaks. Uh, I'm going to put some stuff around because I'll be spraying once it gets to its, you know, calms down, it's idling. I'm going to be spraying uh, some starter fluid around the intake, uh, around the carburetor base to see if the idle changes. And if it does, that lets me know I got a, I got a uh, vacuum leak somewhere. So, all right, again, usually it happens around the, the plate and then you might have one at the intake. Now, when I put those intake, the intake gaskets on there, I was really careful with that and the china wall. You feel me? So I'm actually going to get a gauge and start playing around with that. If I'm going to have a carburetor, man, I need to learn how to do all that. So but there it is, gang. Uh, we got it in. And this, once again, is the Blackheart steering shaft. I'll have the link uh, to the part. And you know it's for this is the for the LS swaps, but this works over here. And you know, see all that room, and it just looks real clean and tidy. All right, all right, y'all. I'm gonna uh, as soon as the sun comes up, we hit about eight o'clock. I'm gonna get back up, fire this thing up, and we are gonna pull her out today. Yes, sir. Fading it back on in. All right, gang. So, man, the rain just will not let up. I'm not gonna be able to pull her out uh, because you know, no windshield, that type of stuff. So. I've moved on to another project, gang. Uh, it's time to get the wiring cleaned up. It's time to get this one wired up with the uh, one touch. We got the auto lock one touch. Get the wire all cleaned up. I'm going to snatch the dash back out. All that fun, fun stuff. But yeah, this was, uh, this turned out great. I was able to turn the wheels out, turn the wheel back in. No big deal. That's all up in there. And just had to sand it a little bit and just clearance it. I uh, slipped right over. That one just happened to be just a little bit bigger than this guy right here. No big deal. A little sandpaper, a little uh, foul, and I was able to get it cleaned up. But yeah, gang, all right, y'all, I'm going to uh, call this a win. I was able to turn the wheels. No big deal. And uh, get that cracking. But, man, I'm going to let y'all go. We've been letting this drag on for long enough you see what it is gang we getting her closer and closer right now at this point i can pull her out as soon as the rain lets up man that'll be another vid uh we'll get that cracking and uh get some footage of me or the owner back in the car on out and uh we getting one step closer to getting her all the way out the garage and the malibu in but man it's your little homie elko warren up in the rock shop, repping 80s, and most definitely keeping the shit.